Today we will talk about viscosity. In daily life, we call viscosity as the thickness of the fluid. We say honey is thick but water is light. It is also understood from the visual appearance of honey and water. Not only that, we all have experienced that flow of water is smooth in nature whereas the flow of honey is sluggish in nature. That means honey has a higher viscosity compared to water. Technically, viscosity is a measure of resistance to fluid flow. Higher the viscosity, higher is the energy requirement for the flow. Viscosity originates from the interlayer momentum transfer which brings in relative fluid velocity between the adjacent layers. Newton introduced the concept of viscosity and gave the law now known as Newton's law of viscosity. Before we discuss about the Newton's law of viscosity, let me tell you a bulk fluid can be imagined as a combination of multiple layers and those layers are called lamella. So here I try to show you the lamella concept. So if I draw a line here, this particular line may represent a fluid lamella and individual white circles can be thought as a package of multiple molecules, multiple fluid molecules. So we have different such lamella in a bulk fluid. Now let us discuss about the Newton's law of viscosity. It tells the stress on a fluid is proportional to the velocity gradient. So whenever a fluid flows, a velocity gradient exists. A velocity gradient means in a normal language, the velocity at all the layers are not similar when fluid flows. It actually differs. The extent of this difference is termed as the velocity gradient. So here if you see we have introduced a concept of pipe flow where these two lines represent the walls of the pipe and these arrows represent the fluid velocity at different position in the pipe. We, we know that the velocity is maximum at the center of the pipe whereas the velocity is zero on the wall and as we move from the center to the wall we get a change of velocity it gradually reduces reduces and ultimately becomes zero on the wall so a gradient exists here and that particular gradient is the velocity gradient and the proportionality constant is viscosity here. Now if you have different fluids, this velocity gradient will be different. In a normal language, the nature as I have shown here, it could be different for a different liquid. If this nature of diminishing is different, then you will get a different velocity gradient and hence a different viscosity. So this way the viscosity can be visualized. Now I will try to give you an analogy. This particular video what it shows there was a camera and it actually captured the motion of a crowd human crowd in a particular road. And then this particular video we did a time elapse so that we can see motion of a crowd in a short time scale. So this particular motion of crowd can be visualized, can be analogy, can be given an analogy to the fluid flow inside a channel. It can be thought like in an open channel, the fluid is flowing. So with the analogy, individual person represents a fluid molecule. So if you visualize what happens, if you are there in a crowded road and you are, you are standing, not walking and somebody hits you. So somebody hits with a high momentum. So that momentum will also push you. But still the guy who hits you, he will be moving with a higher velocity than you. So the guy is transferring momentum to you, but you cannot get the equal momentum of the guy. Hence, when a guy pushes you, 
it generates a relative velocity that means your velocity will be less and his velocity will be higher so you are getting a gradient of velocity similarly when fluid molecules as a crowd as a whole moves inside a channel similar collisions momentum transfer and everything happens and ultimately it generates different fluid velocity at different layers and that is why the concept of viscosity originates as this gradient is high the viscosity is higher so here i have shown a particular animation if you can see so different fluid lamella are there i am trying to push the mid lamella actually i am trying to pull it from this particular bulk fluid so when i try to pull it what happens you can see here so i am pulling this particular middle lamella so it will move with a higher velocity but the layers adjacent to this will not move with the same velocity and that it will be running behind the middle layer and hence a relative motion a relative velocity exi will exist and that will lead to the viscosity if this difference is higher then you have a higher viscosity if this difference is less you have a less viscosity for ideal fluid there will not be any difference if you have pull a middle lamella the adjacent lamella will also move with the same velocity that is called ideal ideal fluid and an ideal fluid has zero viscosity i hope this particular video give you the concept of physical understanding of viscosity if so kindly share this video with your peers thank you